Connecting your wireless router is a piece of cake. Just four easy steps. Make sure you follow the process in your router's manual, but no matter which brand of router you have, you'll always complete these four steps. But here's the catch. Some router manufacturers recommend that you do the setup with your computer turned off and your modem unplugged. Like that. So, let me show you the steps now, and then when you're ready, grab your router's manual and turn off your computer and modem. Let me give myself some elbow room. Okay. In most cases, you already have an Ethernet cable plugged into the back of your cable modem. Step one is to unplug that cable, but leave the other end plugged into the computer. Step two, take the Ethernet cable that came with your router and plug one end into the cable modem and the other end of the cable into the port on your router that says something like Internet, Ethernet, or data. Now you have both wireless and wired capability. And step four, if you plan to keep the computer you disconnected close to your new router, you can plug that Ethernet cable into one of the numbered ports on the back. Those are the four steps to connect your wireless router. Now you can plug in or turn on your devices in this order. First, plug in the cable modem and allow one minute for it to boot up. Next, plug in your wireless router and wait 30 seconds. Then, turn on your computer and let everyone get to know each other. That's it, and that's that.